Hello, uh, this is another job search update. Uh, I'm going to first of all mention that my camera keeps on changing colour. Uh, so apologies for that, but I'm just going to roll with it. I've spent the past 10 minutes trying to fix it and I just can't do it. Um, for some reason, it keeps on picking the most like dominant colour in the room and it can't decide what that is. Um, so yeah, besides the camera having a mind of its own, um, here we go. Uh, so yeah, I've been applying for jobs for the past three months. As many of you probably know, I lost my job in May um, to automation and AI um, and, you know, just not being needed anymore, essentially. Um, and I've now applied for over 100 jobs. Initially, I wasn't seeing much success, but in recent weeks, I'd say the past six weeks, I have been to uh, three second stage interviews. A second stage interview is just where you would go and meet them in person after doing your first stage on a video call. Um, and then you would do some things such as a presentation or do a half day of work in that environment to see if you're suitable um, or a, a task they might set you to do, um, etc. Right? To prove that you can um, do what you claim, that you have the skills that are on your resume, etc. Um, <clears throat> I'm not strange to this. I've already done uh, three or four of these in my time and two of them resulted in me getting jobs. Today, uh, two hours ago, um, I received the news for the third time in the past six weeks that my second stage interview um, wasn't good enough, essentially, um, and they went with the other candidate that was in the running for the role. Um, the first time this happened, I thought, well, you know what, you know, this, this is bound to happen, it's a numbers game, maybe I'll get the next one. Then I didn't get the next one, and I was quite upset. Because uh, I really wanted the job. Um, it was at the ideal company. It was in an ideal situation. Um, <clears throat> as in workplace. Like it was 15 minutes from where I previously worked. It was more money. Uh, it was a, a step up in terms of job title. Going from a, a middleweight role to a lead role. Etc. It was all. All the signs were like yes. Uh, and they seemed to really like me. And unfortunately they went with the other candidate. Today. Third time doing this. The same thing has happened again, except this one was probably even better. It was 15 minutes from my house in a car or, you know, a bus or something like that. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm just like, I'm just fed up. Uh, I'll be honest. I'm demotivated. I am on the verge of giving up and just applying completely for like warehouse and retail work with no hope of getting back into the design creative industry uh anything like that it sucks it is it is extremely demoralizing being told no you are not good enough for something you've essentially done for the past eight years um and being told another candidate has more experience like i've done this for eight years it's just like what <laughs> I don't understand. I just don't understand. I worked at one company for six years and I'm starting to feel like that was a major issue. The fact that I worked somewhere for so long and didn't really branch out any skills. Um, you know, doing the same job essentially for so long wasn't learning anything new. Um, and now that I've become so much of a, um, you know, I wouldn't, master is not the right word. I'm, I'm, I always say I'm the jack of all trades, master of none, but become, you know, a, somewhat of a, um, an expert, uh, you know, uh, highly experienced in one particular field that I'm kind of boxed into that um, and applying for anything outside of that, such as today, a graphic design and marketing role. Um, I'm just told that other candidates have more experience. And I'm really sort of, as I said, I'm, I'm really pushed and, and boxed into um, specifics when it comes to applying for a role, which is annoying. Um, and I'm starting to lose hope. So, yeah. Uh, I'll be honest, some people might find this silly, but, you know, um, today hit me so hard that I actually cried. Um... I actually cried about 30 minutes ago before recording this. Um, 
as it is starting to really hit me um and it's it's uh, it's upsetting that <laughs> that i found it easier to get a job in this industry with zero experience than i am with eight years of experience I just can't comprehend it. Um, yeah. <laughs> when I had no experience, <laughs> the second interview I went to, I got the job. And uh, this is my third second stage interview, and it's my fourth actual interview, having eight years of, of backing behind me. Um, you know, it's a completely different world now. Yeah, it's uh, it's hitting me mentally. Um, oh, my cameras are just in color. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just wanted to update you all on it um, and kind of my immediate thoughts. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm starting to lose hope and I'm starting to like, I'm starting to feel like you know if if even if I did land a role um, in this industry, like one will it last and two. Will I get that sense of like accomplishment and stuff um, by the time I, I get there, or will I just be a ruined man? <laughs> um, yeah, it's because uh... <sighs> a lot of you obviously probably know uh, when you when you lose a job due to redundancy, which is what happened with me, you get a payout. So I, I got. Uh, a few thousand to keep me going for a few months, and that's quickly running out. Um, in a couple months, that'll be gone. Um, I think I've I've predicted roughly um, by the beginning of November um, that will all like my bank account will be empty. My bank account will be zero come November, and that's with the help of raising one thousand four hundred from youtube with my um couple of like viral videos that um had ans adsense on them I had uh, they had ads on them and i made some money from that so yeah um that's really like really hurtful as somebody who has all these projects going on the side like my video game projects my jewelry business that did quite well uh, the plushies that i sell somebody who like prides themselves in in really like making money and and being successful in, in things he does it hurts me to see my bank account being drained every month and nothing going in. Um, so I'm like starting to think like, do I just go boss to the wall and apply for an absolute metric fuck ton of retail warehouse, that kind of stuff to get money coming in and say, screw it. it you know, the job market for graphic designers and, and social media assistants, etc., is chalked. There's no point anymore. And that really hurts, but that's like where I'm at. That's where I'm starting to, that's what I'm starting to feel like. Um, so yeah. And also just for my own, you know, mental health, like, can I, can I carry on doing this for another two or three months? And I genuinely don't think the answer is, is yes. Um, Somebody actually picked up on this on a, a live stream and I didn't respond to it. Um, but somebody picked up on uh, a couple of marks on my head, um, which are very obvious if I tilt to the left. You'll see there is a lack of hair in a weird shape here going across um, and some other patches and things. Um, there's one in the middle here. This side isn't as bad. Um, and that is because of due to stress, anxiety and stuff, I actually developed um, something called trichotillomania, which is a form of essentially self-harm uh, where you pull out your hair due to stress. Um, and that's where I'm at. So yeah, it, uh, it sucks. <sighs> uh, um, yeah um so that's it that's 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 where i'm at um i did not expect to get upset in this video but yeah <sighs> so yeah um it just sucks um it it doesn't help the situation at all um you know it makes me really self-conscious um about my appearance and things and uh yeah <clears throat> this is something that i'm uh I'm, I'm not a stranger uh to this uh, it has happened before 
Um, some of you who've watched the channel recently may have seen a video I did about um, medical conditions and things. Um, I had a liver transplant four years ago, and that was an extremely ses uh, stressful situation. And this, the same thing happened there. Um, it was worse. Um, the, the amount of stress that was going through before having a life-saving operation uh, actually caused the entire left side of my head to go completely bald. So I've come quite far from essentially all of this being bald. Um, it was really bad. Um, so yeah, I used to I used to constantly wear beanies and hats um, to hide it. Um, so yeah. Um, So yeah, uh, sorry for the large amount of cuts in the past couple of minutes. There's there's been lots of stopping and um, <clears throat> trying to pull myself together. So yeah, um, that's that. Um, you know, it just sucks. As I said, um, for this role in particular, I did a presentation. Um, some of you watched me do half of this um, on stream, actually. Um, yeah, in total, that presentation took me 12 hours to make. Um, so, like, this is the the most I've prepared for a role. 12 hours to make the presentation, um, a few hours more to research. So maybe, let's say, 14, 15 hours. And then I spent a couple of hours reciting it to myself. Um, so I knew portions of it by heart. So in total, you know, there might have been 16 to 18 hours of preparation here, um, which is essentially like three three days of work um you know three days of free labor <laughs> and uh and yeah i didn't get it and it's like it's just like um you know how many more times do i want to do that until i get a role um and you know i don't i think the answer is not many more so yeah that's it um yeah <laughs> Don't know what else to say. I've been applying for things that require less experience to hopefully get those and, you know, use my experience as like a bargaining chip. You know, say, look, you're looking for less experience, but I bring more and I'm very happy with the wage you're providing. Um, it's a win-win for everyone here. And they just say, no, you got too much experience. We feel like you'll leave the company in, in a year or two for something better. And that sucks as well, because I wouldn't do that as I have a six-year tenure at the previous company I was with. Um, so yeah, I just feel like I'm kind of stuck, which sucks. I'm really hoping that if I do start rapidly applying for other types of work, um, that I won't be in a situation where they say, look, your resume is eight years of experience in one particular field. This doesn't make sense. Um, because, you know, I have started to try and branch out into things like social media, marketing, um, even um, small bits of retail, such as like working in a jewellery store, because I have experience selling jewellery myself um, with my own business that was actually quite successful. Um, that business did five figures on my own with zero experience, just self-taught. And I still get declined. I, I bring up that experience um, in, the, in the fact that, you know, I want to be applying for a junior like a sales role at a jewelers or something and they still just shut me down and say no your your resume is a hundred percent graphic design and creative roles so it sucks like transitioning into a different um industry professionally is extremely difficult um and i think a lot of people fail to do it so yeah that's it what else can i what else can i do so yeah um yeah, part of me is just like, look, just get any any piece of work you can. Even if uh, even if you you know you kind of like somewhat hate yourself after it. If you hate the work you do, at least you've got income, um, and you're not in a situation where you're going to lose your house. <laughs> um, yeah, which sucks, sucks to be in. I have never been in this kind of situation before. I've always done a job that I enjoy. Um, besides the first ever job I did, but that didn't last long at all. <laughs> I had to leave that one for medical reasons, but yeah. Um, 
that's it. I don't know what else to say. Um, <sighs> yep. All right. Um, yeah, I guess thanks for watching this. Um, yeah. Um, I'll continue to do videos and streams here and there. Um, but I mean, I think it's been like 11 or 12 days since I've done a video. Uh, it's really started to slow down a bit recently as I've ramped up the applying for jobs and things. So not sure how frequently it'll be. Um, I am using it as a bit of a coping mechanism, to be honest, just to, you know, to, to do something and to, um, put my mind aside. Um, so yeah, maybe there'll be more of it. Maybe like, I don't, I don't honestly don't know. Um, so yeah, if I do streams of videos, I'll see you in those. If I don't, then, uh, I'll, I'll see you whenever I eventually do something. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. I'm rambling. Yeah. Cool. All right. See ya.